All right, here we come to the next episode. Here we come to Star Wars: The Second Evolution. Hanging out. We have well, opportunity to get Sylvian boots. I'm trying to find out who can use these. Really not Celine, but we're gonna be able to get some other stuff. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. All right, next fight will involve mm. uh, that. But wait. I think I want to have something that stops um, petrification. Mm. Thundering from Amulet of Freedom. Amulet of Freedom. Amulet of Freedom. Mm. That's a uh, Ring of Might. No, we don't need that. Mm. Paralysis. Silver Earring. This is the MP of the wearer. No, meteorite. No. Prism ring, velvet tear. Cover its temperature spell damage to the MP. Halves fire damage, doubles water damage. Now, yes, this would actually work pretty well, because the next fight we're dealing with, there's a dude who has fire fists. So, so yeah, that would make sense. I think we'll try it. We could use Sylvian boat. Yeah. Oh, we gotta go to Greaves. Someone's <laughs> in the wrong area. Okay. Greaves. Mithril Greaves. You can't use them either. No, yeah. Mm. Silver Greaves. Sylvian Boots. Silver Boots that dwell for forest from the Shards of the Stars. They increase her hit offense by some points. And. Yeah, that's it. That's right. Works for me. Mm. Sylvia boots. Yeah, a lady can wear. Mm -hmm. Mithril acquired. Very nice. Fists of the Titan acquired. You don't really use Bowman, but mm, you can give him mm, the Fists of the Titan. Mm. Knuckles of the Moon. Fists of the Titan. Yeah. No. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. It's over here. Mm. That old horse. Mm -hmm. It does look very nice. Except for the you know, brambles out there that were left by our maintenance man. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. Grounds maintenance man. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes to all the trouble to cut up mm -hmm. all those, mm -hmm. cut all those vines mm -hmm. off of the fence. So the fence looks like a normal, like an everyday average bland fence. Mm -hmm. It has electricity. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, average bland fence, but then doesn't you know has didn't pick up the pile of stuff in front. You know, kind of need that. Mm -hmm. Here's price: eight thousand four hundred dollars, four thousand seven hundred and fifty. Kind of need that stuff. What's in here? Oh yeah. Also, yeah, mm -hmm. next to a parking lot. So <laughs> it's actually parking lot stuff. Room shoes. Mm -hmm. Safety shoes? Groom shoes. They're magical shoes covered with symbol, symbols of protection. Raise the wearer's MP. Nullifies wind damage. Very nice. I like it. Groom shoes. That is cool. Sometimes you know, so you forget you know, about all the different things they have. So that's fine. Groom shoes. Okay, I gotta go and get through. Mm. What's the game group stuff? Uh, checking out some new game group stuff, of course. There's, they're doing Sonic uh, Frontiers right now, and it's awesome. But they only do that once a week. Mm -hmm. Making videos for that once a week. I watch other Sonic, other things, you know, Sonic things, and it's like Sonic Adventure Two. You know, I really hope they finish that someday. Mm, that'd be nice. Venus weighs seven, seven thousand seven hundred dollars, eight hundred. But it'll be safe. But then there's a oh, no, treasure chest. Atomic puncher acquired. Yes, yeah, for uh, uh, presses. We don't have her in our party this time. Let's see how it goes tonight. You know, EMP on that. Mm. Like, ah, 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 
Ah, ah, big old mouth open like ah. Yeah, mm, trying to eat us. Mm, yeah, mm. Crazy swallowing slugs. They're trying to eat us. Mm. What are you doing at? Serious for six thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars, three thousand sixty. Key barrel card. Yeah. So that's nice. There were some other things he had. Uh, we wa I watched later. What? Okay, so that was the treasure room. Mm. That was nice. That was a diversion. I didn't want to do, you know, I'm not trying to do diversions, though. Mm -hmm. i trying to just go. Not until we finally get out. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so what's going on is we have there's voice ten thousand two hundred and twenty five two hundred and fifty dollars two thousand one hundred and forty sapphire acquired we just get level nine skill voice gate so this game level easy skill voice gate very nice so Oh, what's going on here? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, we had um after watching uh uh Puss in Boots Last Wish, which is awesome. I watched uh we were watching our own stuff, me and my mom. Mom me and my the mom showed us I showed off uh Easter Carol, Veggie Tales Easter Carol, because uh, that's awesome. You know. But before that, before Puss in Boots, then John showed off Puss in Boots. Then mom showed off uh of kind of a romantic kind of, kind of sort of romantic comedy uh, the you know, Easter themed romantic comedy. Mm. I got a memory card. Mm. My memory card. Um, and that was that was pretty good. It took a while to get to go and get for it to, to get going, but it, when it got going, it was great. So here's for six thousand five hundred. Yeah, and it was good. Two people who were basically isolated in different ways. Ooh, nice tube there. Mm. Nice tunnel. Let's go. Let's go this way. They basically, um, I'm so glad we did go have a little detour because they got more powerful equipment, so that's great. But anyway, so a sleeve out of MP, mm, great. It's using Starlight, <laughs> tonight. Like your woman breathes, it feels so nice. <laughs> where are you? Where are you? Where are you? For uh, Blackberries. Where are you? for Celine. Go. I'm drifting away somehow by the what the heck is shooting bullets at me? <laughs> so crazy. Shooting bullets at me, I'm really so. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah, then um, uh, we were watching our own stuff. After we watched that, we were watching our own stuff. And I was watching uh, Sabre Spark and Friends. Serious Voice, 45000 $4,500. dollars $1,000. $100. Um, Sabre Spark and his uh, friend, lady friend, watching uh, two different movies that are pretty crazy. Uh, there was... Oh, crap. Okay. There was um, Animal Farm and Watership Down. Mm -hmm. And here's the deal. Animal Farm got pretty crazy. It was definitely a, a, a bit of a rough one because it was very political and about how dictators get deposed, but then other people, the people who do basically deposed them, can become like the dictators. You know, that, that's that got pretty. Rough. That's pretty rough in that way because it was like, yeah, you know, these animals were like, you know, certain animals were basically like, you know. You know, there these certain there was these animals basically the under the uh iron the the you know, the boot of serious place five thousand seven hundred. They were underneath they were being just just horribly mistreated I I mean, by this drunk mean you know, farmer. But eventually they were able to drive him off. Okay, take over the farm. But then it's like you, you have uh, they um, start doing doing awesome stuff. They make laws, you know. They actually make laws and stuff to govern themselves, you know, to do things better. Uh, and it, it worked. It worked for a while, but unfortunately, the power went to the lead animal's head. Here's place: five thousand nine hundred dollars, one thousand four hundred, and it just got to the point.